this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Since last time, I just decided to backtrack to the garden off-screen because, well, you guys know how to get back here. If not, just follow the road. Of course, where I'm going, we don't need roads. Made it back in one piece, always excellent. No holes or anything. A few scraped knees, but better than a sharp stick in the eye. Well, all right, now all we gotta do is just wait for the test results. So I'll just meet you back in the lobby there off screen. All right, made it back here. Just a reminder, you can challenge this guy here to card games and he can get you some level five cards if you want to bulk up your collection a little more. And it's right next to a save point right there. So that's pretty nice. Let's talk to these guys. I think they have something interesting to say. Yeah, I know about the communication tower. Why is that? Hmm. Uh, are you going to explain? Why not? I mean, you got the technology. Um, it's a worldwide signal interference. I'll just go tell you why. I think someone was saying that it's like in the tutorial or something like that. There's something that explains it. Uh, some worldwide signal interference 17 years ago and we can't uh, use radio waves for some godforsaken reason. They sort of explain it later. It's not a very good explanation. Well, I suppose it is, but whatever. We'll learn more about that later. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we were the ones who knew about that. You better make me a seed for taking the initiative. Oh, so they withdrew too. All they wanted was a communication tower? Couldn't they just build one of their own? And even then, I mean, what good is that going to do them? They can't broadcast anything out of it because of the, the communication interference or something like that. I don't think they ever explained that. They shouldn't be able to. But, I don't know. Oh, well, thanks for the compliment. Oh, uh, yeah, so, well, so much for my hopes with Keistus. Oh, good to be on the battlefield. Oh, well, okay, I'll be careful. Okay, well, that's everything we can do there. I don't think talking to them hurts your uh, score there. Now, one of the reasons why I went for Zell's card earlier was so that way I would have a better collection to challenge this guy. The guy in the blue shirt there, he was jogging around in a circle there. And this is the only time when he's stationary, so you can't lose track of him, possibly, while you're playing against him. So I'm going to take a moment to do that, and if I don't get it on my first try, well, then I'll just do it off screen. Oh, right, there's the mini mob card I was looking for. Sometimes I think you need to play him a few times in order to get him to actually play the card. This is one of my favorite moves to start out a game with, putting Marlboro in the lower left corner there, because they usually can't take it back or steal it with any level 1 through 5 card. So, hmm, this is getting a little tricky here. Uh, no. Let's, let's do that. Let's just hold off. There we go. That's better. I figured I'd just show playing the game on screen here because, well, why not? I mean, you know, it takes me a minute and that way you can see, yes indeed, you can get the rare card that we're looking for from the guy in the blue shirt there. So, there you are. And thanks uh, to the guy who uh, told me that, you, that the guy is stationary there at this precise point in the plot. Because otherwise he's just running around and that can get a little tedious following him. Yeah, I heard. We're practically heroes. Or almost heroes. We showed some initiative. Well, that too. I mean, we like killing people. That's why we became mercenaries. Well, yeah, the teachers here are a bunch of jerks. 
You could whip him, Keistus. Oh, okay, so Cypher's gonna take the fall for us. All right! No, no, not really. Your job is to do what you're told. That's what happens. Talk to the hand, Cypher. Ah, Cypher's actually getting a little down on himself. What are you doing, Cypher? Why are you uh, bowing to him? Oh, right, Japan. I forgot. <laughs> Well, okay, just keep that in mind for the future, Cypher. Oh, well, he seems... Sid actually seems to be a sort of a nice guy, I guess. Sid is a caring soul. Uh, Sid? Robin? I mean, Sid? Oh, uh, well, huh, that's a little cryptic and weird. What do you got to say about that cypher? No witty comeback? I guess not. What do you mean by that? Well, yeah, we're mercenaries. Oh, well, okay. I, I guess you gotta, you know, stick to the contract. Nothing wrong with that. So how long do we gotta wait to, uh, get these results? Oh, well, there we go. All right, let's head on up to the second floor. Yeah, we can't go, uh, well, anywhere else in the garden right now, really. So, let's just head on up there, then. See, I wonder where, uh, well, Cypher should be coming up any minute. Who knows? Maybe they're feeling forgiving. Oh, hey, and, uh, Cypher's friends are here. All right. Oh, well, that's shocking. You got anything to say? No, no, not really. Your back hurting there, Zell? What are you doing? Patting yourself on the back for a job well done? Okay, let's just fast forward here. Come on, there we go. Gotta wait like 30 seconds for this guy to show up. Yay! Zell became a seed. Or, he passed. Ow! My back! Yay! And I became a seed, too. Anyone else? Nope. Nope. Just the two of us. Wow. You three weren't even there. Were they? Were they the guys that came out of the cafe? I thought they said, like, they didn't pass the pre- requisite or whatever it was. Oh, all right, four of us. Uh, oh, even Selfie graduated, all right. And some other guy. All right, introducing to you yourselves. Hmm? What aspect? He keeps on leaving us in the dark here. Sorry for going through the dialogue a little quickly there. Well, do what we can. Exercise care, Squall. Squall is a caring soul. Alright, can I take a look at it? Or not? Not yet, I guess. Well, yeah, she's kind of in charge of it, but how are we going to coord- how's she going to coordinate that while she's on missions and stuff? Do your best, even if you don't stand out, because we didn't give you a name or any personality whatsoever. Okay, I'll see what we can do with Zell, now that we're getting paid for it. I'll explain how money-making works eventually. Finally, someone who can use a freaking sword! In a world with guns that he did not create. I don't know what Cell's problem is. You, you got me on that one, viewers. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. We've got four of them already. Oh, okay, I'll just keep that in mind. I mean, you are kind of paying me. And if you talk to Sid here again, you get the battle meter. Um, 
I forget how you're supposed to access that. It tells you some information about the battles that you fought or something like that. I don't even really care. But anyway, yeah, that was Sid's office on the third floor there. 17 years? You're only 17 years old! Let's talk to him again. <laughs> yeah, I just figured I'd show a little bit of dialogue there. Oh, okay, so we gotta, uh, get back to class, and, uh, I wonder what Cypher has to say about us graduating and not him. And what was my score on the seed exam? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! Thank you.